think Etomix uh, gave a good preface for this enterprise that we have. Um, the shipping of forage fish to other countries to sustain fish, uh, grow, growing farm fish is completely chaotic. And, uh, you know, this, this, this industry is, is consuming a lot of forage fish and it's growing at a rate um, that's, that's unexpected. And what I would like to start with today is an idea that is a little more chaotic. The fact that every year 600 billion of these fish are captured simply to be put into a trap to lure a crustacean. This industry, as you know, the, the global seafood market is $60 billion, and it requires a $20 billion industry of bait to sustain it. I decided to start here with the team, because without the team, we wouldn't have the innovation. We have tenured professors at the Joint School of Nanoscience and Engineering. I am a recent PhD in nanoscience. We have experienced business members that have started and exited. We have products on the market from previous uh, industry endeavors and scientists. So a small fish with a big impact. Like I said, this forage fish is now being consumed by a myriad of different industries. Aquaculture, human consumption, it's used as barnyard and animal feed, pet food, and as a crustacean bait. 40% of the world's capture, or 35 million tons, is forage fish. 18 million tons of these fish are put into a trap simply to lure a crustacean there. The global use of wild fish as bait is a $20 billion industry. It's consuming more than 18 times than the entire country of France eats in seafood each year. So our innovative solution is organobait. The technology was derived during my uh, graduate program and this is probably the first time someone will pull a fish bait out of their pocket. So uh, th this is actually a technology, judges, if you'd like to take a moment. What I've done is using my nanoscience background, I've reverse engineered forage fish. I've taken the critical components, put them together, this symphony of scents, and a patent pending attraction matrix that will dissolve at a specified rate for the fishermen, and it will lure the crustaceans to the trap. A huge problem with the fishing industry that we've, we've discovered is that the bait availability is diminishing rapidly and the cost is skyrocketing, inhibiting their margins. They're desperate for a solution. Our product is eco-friendly, which is very important because it's restoring 600 billion fish back to the ocean, making our oceans more healthy. It's an environmental solution as well as an industrial solution. You can see and compare to traditional bait, forage fish, we have an unlimited supply chain, whereas currently we have frequent shortages appearing, rising costs, affecting margins. Our shelf life last year's. Today is the first day of stone crab season. We built this bait several months ago, and there's about 200 in the water in Florida today being fished. We don't need refrigeration, so we reduce cost of storage. We have a fixed price. We're not subject to market demand and variability. We last longer or, or more effective to the industry. We can be tuned to how long they want to fish for. We've been funded by the North Carolina Sea Grant Foundation and then through the National Science Foundation who recognizes the need for this solution. Today, we've raised over a million dollars in non-dilutive grant funding. We're a small team and uh, we, we've put together all of this at the Joint School of Nanoscience, leveraging our ability there as a consortium member. So we have some financials that we've, uh, that, that we've outlined for the next five years as part of our requirements to the National Science Foundation. In order for them to invest in risky technologies, they want to show that if the research is feasible, there is a commercializable product and a market there. We have an extremely low cost of goods. We are a life sciences industry with pharmaceutical margins. Right now, we're seeking $1 million because Kepley Biosystems would receive another $500,000 from the NSF in a price match for our phase two SBIR funding program. And with that, I'll open it up. It looks to be a very clean shut count. It's a clean case of making seeking an investment, right? It's very interesting. How, how far have you tested this, that this is working, not having any side effects or on the, on the aquaculture industry? I mean, is there any, any negative impact? Um, the, the one you're looking at there is completely attractive. There's no nutritive value. So the fish don't consume it. They're purely attracted to the trap. That would be, that would be there. There is no consumption. Everything in there is already in the ocean. So we're not actually introducing anything new. In fact, we think that it might be more pristine than throwing rotting fish or 
pig's feet or cowhide, whatever they're using right now. We've tested it all along the East Coast from Canada for lobsters all the way down to Florida for crabs on the West Coast as well. My question is, how efficient is it? Can you capture uh, as many crabs as with uh, uh, for uh, other uh, bite and forage? Yeah. And another question: What would you are the the, the bites uh, products that would be uh, used otherwise for human consumption, for example, or are they wastes? There's a lot of industry for those baits. You know, they are being ground up for forage fish. Uh, they're going into barnyard animal feed. So there's a lot of utilization as well as human consumption. In a lot of emerging countries, these fish are critical food. So to have them waste away in a trap to attract another fish that sells for a little more is somewhat unreasonable. Um, your first question was... If uh, I'm a crab, uh, will I uh, try yes. to eat it? Yes, yeah. No, in, in most cases, the, uh, the baiting vessel is kept separate from the, the kitchen where they, they actually are harbored. So the sink gets them in there. In some cases, they would have access to it. They wouldn't be entertained with eating it. We don't necessarily catch better than forage fish, which was never our intention as an ecologically-minded company. We provide an efficient alternative that works just as well. So we still are based on area of influence that our bait can disperse the attractant milieu to.